Meow, and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. In the last episode, we went down here into the uh, flooded tunnel and did overhear a conversation, and I hope we will hear it again when we come back, because we're going to go and get some water breathing action. And then, Max, this is a bit finicky here. It's way easier doing this in raft. Okay, um, first of all, I'm going to check again water walk. We have two water walkings, but no water breathing. And the reason I'm screaming into the search bar is because I have shift lock on, so I run. So let us just use some safe intervention to get back out of the tunnel. We have marked in the last episode, so we can it's raining again. It's, it seems to be always raining in Belmora. Same way that it's always uh, wind, always uh, a uh, sandstorm in Aldrun. Okay, now let's see. First of all, I'm going to check in the Mages Guild and I'm going to check if I can buy a spell of water breathing. An amulet would be more nice, nicer. It is such an honor to meet you. I guess it would also be called water breathing, so nope. So let's check if we don't have some. Ooh, special fur of Tamriel. That looked like an emerald or something. Only 45 willpower, which we don't need. Uh, amulet would also be nice. I think the, yeah, the amulet seller is up here. Which um, Azula does not know, but um, uh, does not like, but um, what she doesn't know. Shield, detect key, damage fatigue, restore fatigue. That's interesting, and that, that one is actually very, very useful because that's that's the one that gets out gets us out of uh, caves, and we don't need to, we don't need to scrolls. I want an amulet, so thank you very much for getting me the amulet. If there's anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. Well, you did. You already did. Thank you very much. Um, and our athletic skill increased. Awesome sauce. Let's see. Here is Neem. Niemand, yes. Here is Niemand, which is um, me talking German while talking English. Nobody is here. Uh, let's just real quick click these two. Blah, blah, blah. We already heard that. Uh, wait a second. No, no, no. This is different. In the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline, though body and spirit are protected poverty and may not be used without permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summon their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, that's all. Oh, no, no, of course not. I, I can't teach you spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not a necromancer. That's interesting. I have not known that. This is why it was blue. I actually thought we had... Okay, yes, we need... Uh, not everyone will trade with us if, if we have the moon sugar. Mm, but she does, but there's no water. Let's see if we can have... Oh, this is the name. Um, we also... Yeah, we don't know water breathing. That, that, that was that was you? stupid. Spell making for a spell that I don't have. Water breathing, thank you very much. That is... Yes, how do you know? I'm how very, you very, very fine. Greeted friend. Welcome. Azura still wants the Warlock ring, but um, I am going to... What does Moon Sugar do? Fortify speed and dispel. Nice. I'm going to sell... First of all, I'm going to try learning alchemy, right? She has more gold than Ravir does, actually, but she only takes potions and potion ingredients. So let's see, first of all, restore health. There we have two. I should do this first, the ones that I actually want to have. Uh, though we don't have anything for restore fatigue. Oh, that was interesting. Let's see. Wow, this is paralyze and restore health now because it kind of mixes. Ah, okay. Now, since I have um, 
since I have ingredients mixed, I get all the effects. That is very interesting. That I did not know. I always thought I can only do pure potions. So here I want to have Restore Fatigue. That's interesting if I have Restore Fatigue and I want to have Fortify Fatigue. Then I would basically, if I have a Restore Magicka, I can also do Restore Fatigue. Now that, that is a complete game changer, honestly. That is a complete game. This is something I did not know. This is super duper interesting. Could be that this was not in the original Morrowind and this was introduced in OpenMW. Um, but still, that's kind of awesome. Okay, let us see. So she does not buy these. She only is using restore intelligence, restore fatigue. That was uh, we're at 26 points, and we take the lightest potions. We keep from light to to heavy. So this is this is the lightest with 0 0.1, 1, 3 is 4, and then we need one more here. Whoops, we need one of these, and we keep none of these. This is 1.5, and this is Restore Health, which we're going to keep completely. Ashyam, <laughs> the Moon Sugar, and she does take it, of course, because she's a Khajiit. Khajiit love to indulge. Yeah, she. I forgot she does not buy anything. Okay, now we can head to our good friend Ravir. Thank you for taking Ravir. It's always a pleasure you to see you. Please share your thoughts. So I'm going to rest until healed to restore our magicka. And then I'm going to go to Ravir and then I'm going to recall. That was that was actually an interesting lesson learned here because it means we can have more than just one effect on a potion. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious that we can have that, but I thought this means that both ingredients need to have both effects. It's interesting to see how this actually works. And I've, as I said, I've never seen this before. There we go. This goblet also goes away. And that should be it. Lots of Restore Magicka potions now. So we don't need to head out. We can now use some of them. Because they're also, they're also heavy. So now we use Recall. I would also love to create a trinket for recalling and marking. So now let's see water breathing. And here we go. You'll be dead too. You we get that. Now they're fighting. Okay, so some people went got into an argument. I'm going to be a bit louder now. Some people got into an argument. And now they're fighting. Okay, so they got into an argument. I did not get all of that. And now they're, now they're trying to fight me, I think. I think they just noticed me and tried to find, fight me. This is uh... okay. Now let us let us let us select a different one. This have has oh we don't have enough. I don't know. I don't have enough magic. I will no problem. So what is this? Drain attribute. Drain fatigue. Of course. 
I think I accidentally selected, yes, I accidentally selected the fireball tang. That was, that was not very intelligent. You know, they're, they're fighting me. They were fighting amongst themselves. So had I waited, I guess they would have killed each other. Now I'm paralyzed. This fight is over. I'm no longer paralyzed. And one of them is down. Okay, they are not very resistant to fire. I have no clue who they are. I have no clue who they are. I'm going to see. First of all, more magicka, and then some health. Okay, she is rather resistant to fire. Okay, now let's tr tr let's try him. He has a glass weapon, which is interesting. Ah, uh, he is rather is rather weak against fire. That's good, but he can also heal, of course, since he's a mage. Or well, maybe he just got a potion. But I can do this a while because I have magic potions, and they're actually not hurting me a lot. Also, let me just... Uh, now it's my turn with the blade, you know? There, see? You will die. Yes, but no, not today. You will die. There, see? And down there, the girl is still standing there in the water, not knowing what to do. See, this is a great way to learn destruction because they are, she, she's slow and rather weak. So she can't, she's, she's not a danger to me. I can now her with that great sword thing. It's interesting. So they all have names. I cannot drain health. No, that's not interesting. Drain is not interesting, but what about absorb health, which costs a lot of magicka, obviously. Hello, man. Let me just do this. There we go. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, she has glass armor and, of course, a glass longsword, which we don't need, but still. Um, well, let's, let's take everything. And uh, let's take everything yet again. That's interesting because that's this. What's that? The amulet. Siencla Lilaram. Siencla's. Amulet, Fortify Attribute Agility, Sanctuary, and Fortify Attack. Nice, thank you. Well, they are... They're just laying around, chilling. Paper Lantern. Which I'm going to leave there to illuminate the place. And even more people take all, and yeah, I can still, I can still do this. Okay, now I'm over encumbered. Well, let's just put away the torches again, and then mark this place. Yeah, we don't have even, this is why I wanted trinkets to do this. But now we can use the amulet of obsidian intervention to get out. Do we have some? No, we don't have any. So what, what did we get? A glass dagger, which is awesome because uh, this is also a glass dagger. But this paralyzes. But here we have two that we can enchant to our will, which is awesome. They also only weigh one, so I'm just going to put them with Kayask Sadis, which is our stash 
for the moment being just going to put them there and then we're going to see uh, what we're going to do with them. The long sword is a long blade which is not our weapon of choice. If you check we have short blade here but long blade is well five ish so no five so no that's not interesting but it's rather valuable it's 140. Then we have we are wearing a right pauldron so we can also wear a left pauldron now yay which increases our armor rating that's awesome sadly they only had pauldrons it would be awesome if they had other pieces of armor too um the amulet i think is not that interesting where is it by the way it shouldn't be here also am i blind or did we not there it is uh, I mean, it's fortifiability. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Uh, but uh, I don't know when we want to use this. Sanctuary, I actually don't know what this does. I would need to check the wiki. And fortify attack, well, yeah, okay, we make more damage. But on the other hand, mm, I think this is just all going to be sold in the end. And then we're going to check if we can buy other glass stuff later. We need. I think 20,000 gold or something for glass. Mm -hmm. And then we have some standard clothing, a shining ring. This might actually be something we should keep. It might also be a quest item. So we will see. I'm going to keep that anyway. So let us head over to our friend, the trader. And then see that I guess these actually are the ruins. The thing is, if one of these was dangled, then now we kill the one that we should have given the skull to. On the other hand, this could be... Does the journal say something? <laughs> no. It's just the thing that we just noticed with the necromancy. Okay, so basically these two we're going to keep. These two... Um, I mean, also, it's, it's a long sword with a weight of eight. That's kind of awesome. These... Pauldrons, we don't, oh, we need to. Let me see something. If I sell this sword, he will give us 89. Let me go to the weapons trader first and see what they will give us 89 gold because they don't like us particularly. It's just 45 to 42. So it's better to trade with Ravir. What happens if he likes me? So it was 89. I just, I'm just curious if um, traders s pay more for items that reflect their um, that reflect their stuff. So what was the? I think charm was it was a charisma charisma boost is what I know called it. Yes, charisma boost. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. So now he likes me more. Eighty five. It's not one hundred percent though. But still, he gives me 71. Yeah, I think, I think the prices are the same. Um, no matter which trader you go to, but he has way more gold. So we should see if we can make him like us. Permanently. So let's admire him. Okay. So now if the thing wears off... It's actually less. So the 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 loss the loss got saved, but the oh, that's that's sad. It's not the delta because uh, because it went did it, no it did, actually went down yes. So it is the delta has been saved. Okay. Good to know. If I repair my stuff here, it was eighty one. It uh, fair forty one. It's still forty one. So this does not help. Of course, selling stuff helps. So we can also just go and sell stuff because he has a lot of gold. So I'm going to do this. Even though we are not getting much out of it, I'm just going to sell these here. Huh. That pauses me thinking. And what if, I think we're going to lose lots of gold if we hit the threshold with Ravir, but on the other hand, I think we should sell cheap stuff to him. Um, 
the thing is, we, we do need, as I just talked about needing 20,000 gold, so, so we should do this. That was one too many. And then this, the amulet also is crap. We want to keep the shining ring. Oh, wait a second, this was fatigue, fatigue. I'm going to make a restore fatigue potion here. So we're going to keep one salt rice is what I wanted to keep, but it did not react. Okay, we're going to keep one salt rice. And I think that is the candle. I think that's it. Uh, yes, and I forgot again. We needed to wait for a day until he's restocked. Let me drink something while we wait. Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred offer. So cheap weapons we should sell to the other trader to get his value up because he is uh, he, he's packed with lots more money. Four of these, this candle. And I think that's it. Thank you very much. And we can just sleep a night and recall. So that, that, those were standard clothes. They all look, they all look the same. They look like, they did look like they were part of some kind of cult. So this is intriguing. And I want to know what this means. Okay, let's rest until healed and then explore further. Recall. So there we directly look at the nude. Uh, look, the nude orc. That was me pointing in the wrong direction. So let's first check this out and then see what's behind that door, shall we? Go on the right hand side, take off. Okay, it seems like this is some kind of secluded part of the of the market. There's one market stall left. And it seems like they were kind of manning or personing the stall. This piece of cloth here are perfectly aligned, so it looked weird. Hmm. There's lots, lots of stuff here in comparison to the rest. Okay, the illumination from the candles is not high, so I can just take them. So there's a little fire, I guess they made some food here. And then there's the, it looks like a, ah, take, I need to press the button for taking. So what's this? Wickweed and more wickweed, but I need to exactly hit it. Yeah, it looks like this is uh, some crab meat. This is some um, alchemists. That's the word that I was looking for. Some alchemists place here. And they were having an argument and then they... Whoopsie. I just recall back to the Orc. I'm over encumbered again. I'm going to take all the ingredients though. Flask, flask. Still going to take everything with me. And then we're going to see if making potions will lighten the load. Also there's crates here, so I can put stuff in there, it's too much. So let's see, um, there we go. And now we check for, first of all, Restore Magicka. We only have one ingredient, but we already have one. We should keep that. 
There's three items that restore health, and now I'm going to check if I have fortify health. No, I don't have fortify health. Okay, because that would go to get well together with uh, restore health, right? Okay, so I should keep the marshmallow also. And I'm going to forget this when I sell. Um, restore fatigue, of course, is something that I have lots of. Ingredients, that is. Not fatigue. And this, these are the interesting ones. Restore strength would also be interesting because of the curse. But let's just go through and check the others. Resist poison. Frost. Paralyze. Levitate. Potify Magicka. See, this would be interesting to add to a Restore Magicka potion, the Fortify Magicka. And the Detect. Enchantment. I think Fortify Personality basically is, uh, is a um, water toilet. Or how it's pronounced in... French demon. I'm lacking words. Parfum. That's the word that I was actually looking for. Perfume in English. Yeah, I checked these and then I went that way, right? And this keg I cannot interact with. Okay. So here is a tree that I can't interact with. There's some more. It seems like this was the dojo of the orc. Who is still laying here? Just wanted to make sure. And then we have 10. Now I'm over encumbered again. We have. Um, I'm blind. There are 10 torches. They weigh a lot. Yeah, they, they really weigh a lot. Let me just take them one by one. It's three units. Let me do it like this. And then let's sell the stuff again. For, let's, let's do, this time, do the potions again. First, maybe we don't need to sell. So we have Restore Magic again, which is one. Health. As I said, it would be nice if, if those that, uh, if, if there was a bracket that showed, like in brackets uh, next to the name, it showed how many different ingredients are displayed when I say like this. So I don't have to go through this like, like that. Um, then I would just scroll through, check the, check the values in brackets and see, ah, okay, there's, oh, there's one item I don't need to to click there this was would make training alchemy way faster in in game okay so now we are going to use um seed intervention and head back to our friend Ravir to sell the stuff we just found and then we can basically there's just one row of barrels but after that we can basically just go and head into the dungeon, uh, like through that door. I guess that there is more dungeon. It could also just be a room with a smithy or something like that. We will see what they have behind that door. Why they were there, I guess. Um, I'm going to sell stuff to you. So what I'm going to sell to you is... Um, ooh, Cyrodiilic Brandy has a value of 100. Wow. Wow, let me let me see something because this, this this was expensive stuff. Let me let me do something. Let me also go. Let me start going to specific traders because even Ajira has eight hundred gold, which is more than Ravir, um, while she only takes potions and ingredients. So let me head to the alchemist, to the fine alchemist. 
whom I assume has way more mo money because they should have way more expensive prices. Hello, now, now career of Whitehaven. I just want to know how much I can sell to you. We have three thoughts, so, so I should make her happy. I should trade a lot with her and make her happy. Mm. So we have fortify attribute endurance. And even though it does not, um, I think if I go down here now, she should like me more. 56. Now we have personality. Yes, so basically this is tedious. So I am going to turn this into a time lapse. And uh, we will see each other after the time lapse is done. And I've kind of maxed with, with what I fit in my inventory, maxed out the, uh, the prices that she will give to me in the future. So see you soon. Okay, so now she has the best uh, disposition towards us 100%. So we cannot just sell for the highest price that she will ever offer or that any uh, anyone will ever offer. Uh, and she has uh, 3000 gold whenever, whenever you wait for a day, which is awesome if we have super lots of potions or expensive ingredients. And on the other hand, if we want to buy ingredients, they will be cheapest. So if I buy one of these, it'll just cost like 100 something. Um, a little over half the price, not more than the actual value, which is awesome. Okay, so let us offer this even. So this is the same we should have sold the stuff for at Ravir's place. But we saved Ravir's gold reserves. Because he only has 600 of gold pieces every day. So... Also, another thing that I learned now is going to specific traders is better than going to a going to a general trader because the general trader in this case, Revere, will not have lots of gold. I mean, he has only five gold left, but that's not a problem. We can just wait a day and then see there is one day and then we can just go and sell all the stuff that we that we have left over basically because he's still our friend he's still our go-to trader for stuff but um, we don't want to we want him to be able to make other nice deals too so we don't want to drain his gold that quickly see that's awesome and now we're just going to refill our magicka because we're going to delve deeper and then Outlander. Yes, I think it's wonderful too to be here because I can head to bed and sleep without being with this um, weird, creepy man named Caius Casades who is always running around in his house naked Please and telling us to, to, to sleep over at his place while he's running around naked. Um, I think I just slept for an hour. I think actually t just took a very short nap. I wanted to, yeah, I pressed rest. I wanted to press until healed. I did press the wrong button. Let's head back. No, we don't need to head back out. We can just recall. Yeah, now we can take back the 14 torches. Wait a second, isn't this where the... 
No, it's not. Okay, this is a different place. Okay, so there's more than one door. So I'd say, yes, I'd say we're going to... This is... Oh, wait a second, it wasn't this. Ah, no, 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 this is, this is where I was. This is the dojo of the orc. Where our... This is, yeah, these are the torches that I was talking about that we take back. This is the dojo of the orc where we... Lantern way three. No, I'm not going to take the lanterns that hang here. They make the place look beautiful. Um, and I guess he also went through that gate. I'm going to close the gates. This should... No, if, if I close them, I will definitely think that I've not been there. So let's open them. And the next thing will be heading in here. And this actually is the entry of the Citadel. So this means we have found the place where we need to bring the Skull of Gratitude to someone. And with this, I'm going to end this episode. We see each other next week on Morrowind Monday. So stay tuned and bye-bye.